right, so we are here at Quiri, another booth at the TCT Asia, and we have the Quiri box, which is another multicolor system. Very interesting one, by the way. Very interesting choice on design. I really like the choice of the materials. It feels really good. It has a very big LCD screen as well. And I have here with me Tim. He's a specialist at Quiri, and he's going to talk us a little bit about this printer. So tell us about the multicolor system, a little bit how it's going to work. Okay, hi everyone. This is our newest printer, QD Plus 4 and it's released uh, last year and uh, it's been very popular on global markets and uh, the print size as you can see is 305 plus 305 and 280 for the height and it's pretty big uh, like a print uh, value the most uh, feature on this printer is a heat active heating chamber oh, well, so yeah. it has a heated chamber as well yeah. it will blow the warm air and to inside the full, full chamber so and what he it, it blows warm air inside and you keep the heat, the, the chamber, yeah. the, old, the entire chamber heated. Yes, yes. And uh, the maximum uh, temperature can up to 65 degrees, uh -huh. which is very uh, better for, very good for the ABS, for ABS. and uh, some engineer filaments, such nice. as uh, PHD uh, CF or nylon carbon fiber. Yeah, all those, all those engineer filaments works great on Plus 4. That's awesome. And especially the Plus 4, uh, has the nozzle which is compatible for the abrasive filament and normal filament. Ah, so okay, once you get the plus four, you don't need to change the nozzle to compatible for carbon fiber. Nice. It's, it can print directly for the engineer filament. Nice. Yes. So let me let me explain a little bit for the people that are not that that aware about how they, how it works with abrasive filaments. There are some types of filaments that you use that they wear out the nozzle. So after some time, the nozzle that was originally 0, 0 0.4, it, it, it gets widened because the, the filament is abrasive. So it really, it wears out the, the nozzle and it becomes less precise. So this printer has already a nozzle that is compatible with abrasive filaments. Uh, so this really feels like an engine, a solution for engineering filaments, right? Yes. And the maximum tem uh, print temperature for the nozzle up to 370 uh, degrees. 370? 370 wow. for maximum. So basically you can print any engineer uh, for the FDM printers on the market. So That's awesome, yeah. that's awesome. So 370, that's way higher than yeah. what we need for standard PLA or even for ABS and PETG. Yes, that was for the nozzle temperature and for the heat bed, it's up to 120. 120? 120. 120 for the maximum. Oh wow, so when yeah. you're printing with ABS, you can put the bed to 120 and heat up yeah. the entire chamber at 65. Yes, uh, if you print a large, like uh, ABS. But normally we just uh, uh, 90 for the heat bed and 55 for the chamber is enough for yeah. the general model, yes. Awesome. Now, now I want to go here in the back. Let's go, my cameraman, Lincoln. Uh, because we have a an interesting solution here, which as you can see, the purge, it goes into this poop bucket right here. And it has a stand for the bucket that the community, I, for what for what he told me, uh, Quiddy is going to make available a few different buckets, right? Actually, it's uh, available right now. You can download on our wiki site, or you can download on internet. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's uh, uh, several different kind of the holder available. Nice. So as you can see, we have like two hangers in here, like this one on the on the right yeah. and this one on the left. So you can create like a really large poop bucket because as we know, when you are printing in multicolor, it generates a lot of waste. So this is a good idea for you to keep that waste contained and does not <laughs> make an entire shelf of poop as we've seen before. And this is still a prototype. So as you can see, we have the, the holder here. It's still 3D printed. Uh, so they are evaluating this is not the final version uh, of the of the multicolor system, but it's already a working functional version and it's printing right here at TCT. Yes, when so, it comes on final version, uh, it's going to be some a uh, little bit different. Nice. Yes. And you said about the release dates. What are the release dates for yes. this? Uh, it's going to be released on uh, around spring season, maybe late spring. So it's going to be a spring or a late spring. Yes. Ah, uh, awesome. But the, the the version without the multicolor system is already available. Yes, and uh, if you already have the plus four, and you can buy the QD box in the future, and uh, it can plug in uh, okay. directly. So you can upgrade your QD yes, plus with the, uh, QD four yes. to with the the multicolor system. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. What's going to be the the estimated price with uh, the color system? 
without class, uh, without multiple color system, the, uh, the the single device for the Plus Four is seven ninety nine for the global market. Yeah. And with the multicolor system? Uh, multicolor system haven't uh, ah, the the price still yeah. Okay. Still a secret. Yeah, so still a secret. it's <laughs> can you can you repeat the price one more time? Uh, seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine U.S. For dollar. The, 799 USD for the printer without the multicolor system and the multicolor system is still TBD. Yes. Thank you very much, Tim. Yeah, thank you. So yeah, so we are here at TCT and we are showing all the different printers that are being released in here and I'm going to bring you much more new stuff and cool stuff from the fair in the next video. So click the link below, subscribe and follow our channel and share this with people that are curious about 3D printing as well. See you the next time.